The top story on China Beat today is China's reaction to the draft report from the U.S. Congress after the U.S. House Select Committee on Intelligence issued the findings after an 11-month investigation on security risks. They found that China's two telecom manufacturers, Huawei and ZTE, were not to be trusted to be independent operators. The congressional draft of the report says that there are credible allegations that Huawei is guilty of bribery, corruption, discriminatory behavior, and copyright infringement. Both companies are rapidly growing in the telecommunications market, which is comprised of electric power grids, banking and finance systems, gas, oil and water systems, and rail and shipping, all of which are critical installations for the U.S. Then we hear some response from China. The spokesman from the Ministry of Commerce, Shen Danyang, has repeatedly spoken out against the U.S. On this topic, Shen said that the U.S. congressional report accusing China's telecom equipment makers of being a potential security risk is based on false assumptions. Shen says the latest U.S. move is in violation of free market principles, and he hopes the U.S. Congress will abandon the prejudice against Chinese enterprises and provide fair and equal market access to promote bilateral trade. Shen has also reacted angrily toward the WTO investigations against China and calls the U.S. actions protectionism. Huawei spokesperson Bill Plummer calls the report baseless suggestions that Huawei is somehow uniquely vulnerable to cyber mischief, ignore technical and commercial realities, recklessly threaten American jobs and innovation, do nothing to protect national security, and should be exposed as dangerous political distractions from legitimate public-private initiatives to address what are global and industry-wide cyber challenges. ZTE points out that virtually all of the telecom infrastructure equipment now sold in the USA and throughout the world contains components made in whole or in part in China. It also willingly admits that any company in China could be influenced by the Chinese government. It does seem more than a little unfair that ZTE and Huawei have been singled out by the committee when telecommunications equipment provided to the USA by Western companies blatantly includes parts manufactured by Chinese. While China blocks websites and has elaborate monitoring programs to Internet use, U.S. firms are not above suspicion. Microsoft had to deny involvement with the National Security Administration in making Windows 7. The FBI has tried to establish surveillance connections with venues like Skype and instant messaging.